Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a message for today and I would like to talk about the energies that I'm observing and messages that I've been receiving um, in the past couple of days and not only am I witnessing these shifts in my life but I'm also getting them from clients who have booked with me and I'm just picking this up from so many different places and people that it is evident that there is a mass awakening happening. And if you've been following my videos for the past few weeks, you will have noticed that about two weeks ago, my brother came to me. My brother, who was so sceptic and so not on board with this type of work and this type of, you know, spiritual lifestyle it was something that was very weird and quite alien to him but he came to me because he felt that he tried everything and nothing was working and he just wanted to know more about you know what this was and what can he do to make his life better and he did open up so much and change so much and you know completely turned his life around and it felt like that happened in the blink of an eye. It was so amazing, the openness and love that I felt from him. And so a couple nights ago, he messaged me and said, so what do you call this thing that we believe in now? And it made me so happy to hear that not only is he committed to changing his life for the better, but he feels this sense of community with me, what we believe in now. And I said to him, well, this is spirituality. I'm not part of any religion, but you can be part of religion if you still want to be. Just know that this path is spiritual. And he has been so proactive, whereas I would give him a lot of books and videos and things, you know, all different resources now, He's even coming to me and saying, have you seen this one? Have you read this one? Have you done this meditation? And so I'm so proud. But not only this experience, but many others have shown me that there is a mass awakening happening. A proper shift. I'm getting it with my family, with friends even, people I work with. And I would talk to them about very, quite meaningless, you know, stuff like, I know one of my friends would make outfits for my dogs and that was a thing that we had in common but as our friendship grew and as they opened up to me more they were able to share more of their their true worries and their true problems and through me explaining about what I do they have become so much more open to my work and understanding and showing interest whereas before I was hiding I was afraid of even my family discovering my business. Now people are being drawn to me and asking me about these things. So I know that I don't have to hide anymore. And if I'm honest, I would also say that me last year, around this time last year, if my twin found out about the line of work that I do, I was always a bit nervous and a bit afraid, you know, like, what would he think of me? Of course, this is nothing to be ashamed of, but people who are so closed off, of course, I was so used to being kind of mocked a little bit, ridiculed by, you know, just people who didn't mean anything to me, but even my brother being so skeptical of my work, I just felt like, oh, that doesn't feel nice to not have people's support. But now that the shift has happened, and I have this amazing close bond with my brother, I can also say that I feel a lot closer to my twin and that I no longer feel that fear or nervousness. And I'll be happy to share with him what I do. And now that my brother is so just filled with joy and love for this, for this path, for this spiritual journey, I also feel that he will be able to talk openly about this and it's just going to be one of those things that's going to be easy to discuss 
And this really is what we came here to do, Twin Flames. I want you to give yourself a pat on the back. Congratulate yourself on the beautiful work that you've done. You may not even realize what you've done, but through you being here, through you being you, being a twin flame and carrying this love light into the world, you have helped to anchor in this beautiful awakening for everyone to experience. And I remember about two years ago, was it two years ago? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So two years ago, I remember coming across this YouTube channel that was called The Event. And the way that they presented it almost made me feel a bit panicky yet again. I know these were doubts and fears that were left over from a religion that I needed to let go of. But basically, how my religion was when I was younger, it was Christianity, but quite a hardcore branch of it, if that makes sense. They were very exclusive and they would exclude people who weren't of the same religion. And it broke my heart. And as a child, I remember questioning them and saying, but are you sure that somebody who had never heard of Christianity can't go to heaven? You know, it's not their fault that they weren't born in a, in, in a country in Europe somewhere or whatever, a place that has this religion. So why would they not be included? And of course, they couldn't answer that question and said I was just being annoying and that I should just be quiet and, and go sit in the corner and, and continue colouring. But, you know, these are things that I never agreed with. And I'm just so happy to hear now that we are all uniting despite our beliefs or religious backgrounds, that we can all stand together hand in hand and be inclusive, be part of this beautiful awakening that is happening on this earth. We've come here for this purpose. You know, I was always a bit... I always felt left out when I was younger because I was born a medium. I could see people who'd passed away and... My church made me feel like I was a freak and I shouldn't embrace this gift. But I always questioned, if this is God's gift for me, which I know it is because I didn't choose to have it. I didn't even know what, what mediumship was when I was little. Or I just thought it was normal that everyone could see these people. Apparently not. But, you know, I always felt different and knew that I was here for something greater than your average, what people kind of see this life as. Oh, we're here to work and earn money and go, you know, save up for our retirement. And that's just not what I want. I wanted to make a huge difference. I wanted, I knew that I wanted to be someone who, who made something of myself. I didn't always know what, but I felt it. There was greatness within me. And there is greatness within each and every one of you. If you feel it in your heart, you are a twin flame, you are a light worker. Yes, there is greatness within you. You've chosen to come here at this time for this purpose, to bring love into this world and help awaken so many more of our loved ones. Because it's beautiful to be able to share this life, share this vision, share this path with people that we love. I would feel awful to think that my family couldn't share in the joy and the abundance and creating their beautiful lives. But now they can because they've awoken to what this really is. We are co-creators with the divine and we've come here to anchor love into this world, to bring in a new and we will be done with all of the superficialness and unfulfilled relationships. We are here to bring true love and we are succeeding. I know you can feel it. It's just shifted so, so very much and I am so proud of us as a collective. Thank you all for your contribution, for being you and shining your light. Keep doing this. We will awaken so many more and together we will be beautiful and harmonious and be able to live 
the lives of our dreams. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.